here we are. It's Rob Jam Webb. It's the middle of summer in the UK and we're in the grips of a heat wave. So I thought I would stay indoors and show you what I've been up to today. Over the last few weeks, I've been gripped by the vaporwave resurgence, which is going off on YouTube. There's loads of videos cropping up on my feed now with mixtapes and shopping mall videos and so on and so on. You know the score. And I've been properly gripped into it. And it's brilliant because it's given me a whole new lease of looking at production again and different ways of doing stuff. Um, you know, whereas keeping that 80s aesthetic and that 80s vibe and Vaporwave has provided that. So I thought to myself, what could I do um, of my old music and revive it and turn it into a Vaporwave track? So I thought, right, I'll get some of the tracks up that I've made over the last couple of years and see if I can slow them down. So I came up with one, which was on my last album. It was called Venus. And you can still listen to that elsewhere, wherever you want to listen to it. Spotify, you go and get it. It's all there. However... I've got it on here. I'm going to whip through it and I'm going to show you exactly what I've done with it. I've gone from 124 BPM and I've slowed it right down to 80 BPM in the Vaporwave style. Let's have a quick listen to it. There's the original. I made that about two years ago, maybe, and it came out of my last album. And basically, it was inspired by Alan Brakes, Daft Punk, etc. It's a happy little tune. And I thought to myself, could I slow this down and grit it up and turn it into a Vaporwave track? And probably, yes, I can. So I'm going to remove the original and I'm going to go over to what I've done here. And I'm going to loop a couple of things here. But before I get started, I've got a little drum pattern here, which is this. Plenty of reverb on it. I might change that kick because it's quite heavily reverb. I'm going to bring it down a bit, maybe. That's better. So a very simple beat. And then we've gone and got my track, slowed it right down, take the filter down, and I'm going to play this little loop here that I've got. there we go. Very simple. Now what I could do is I could get my original stems and put them in. But do you know what? I thought to myself, no, I want to keep the original track and act as though I've sampled it from an old record. And the way I've done that is I've just put it into Ableton and I've basically slowed it down from 124 to 80. Um, and I've kept all the original parts to it. So it's, that's without. And if you hear it's quite gritty. And the reason for that is that I've put on this tape simulator thing, which I've got for free, which I thought was pretty cool. Obviously, the usual stuff, I've got EQ8 and a filter and a concert hall. Now, the Ferris TDS looks like this. It's a Mark II. And it's just a brilliant, um, it's got all these different sort of preset settings in here. And it's just a brilliant sort of tape saturator, you know, it roughs it up a bit. And if you listen to the track, I take it off. Take off that set. And that. Now put on the Theris. You can just get that really low-fi, you know, tape saturator vibe on it, which is pretty cool. So I've added that to it, and then I've added the concert hall. I might change the concert hall at some point. Um, obviously, I'm going to automate this so that it filters. Do all the classic vaporwave style trickery on that. And the EQ I've taken off the bottom end, as you can see, I've put a low-pass curve on there, look, just to take away the, the heaviness, because it's been um, processed with drums. I wanted to remove some of the drums, because I'm already going to relayer my drums. As I said, that's where using the 
original stems um, could have been a lot better, but I wanted to get that grit in there. And then I've got the auto filter on there as well. And then this whole track has got so many different loops I could use. So never thought of ever sampling my own music, you know, I never thought of actually sampling it, remixing it and uh, putting it out as a complete different genre. Because mostly I produce disco and funky house, etc. And it kind of always stays within that vein. So I never tend to remix my own stuff. I'm, I kind of get bored of it after making it once in a certain style. Whereas this is completely different. It's rewriting it, it's reinventing it for a whole different genre. So I could do various loops on this. <laughs> So that's pretty cool, and then you got you can filter that down. Um, and what else we got? We've got the breakdown here, which is and just the bass line. Filter it up with the auto on the and do an, an impulsive cut off at the end there where it just completely stops out of the blue. Um, so yeah, that is how I am going to remix some of my old catalogue and turn it into vaporwave remixes and pull it out as shorter versions. Obviously, these records I've made are six, seven minutes long because they're club tracks, or so so to speak. Um, so I'm going to do some vaporwave tracks, two and a half minute, three and a half minute versions edits of it and re-release them under the original title but just as a vaporwave remix so it's kind of like an idea for you to reinvent some of your old tracks perhaps you know see what old tracks you've got lurking in the background and try and do them in a new genre you know um slow them down speed them up whatever it's always worth looking at some of your older catalog and it's a great thing to do when you've probably also run out of ideas or you're just not feeling it at the moment go back to something that worked initially for you and give it a whole new lease of life and it probably will work too so um, that's what I'm going to do with a few of my tracks, as well as a EP that I've already made. I'm going to be putting that out as well soon, which is uh, a purely Vaporwave vibe, and putting these out as well. So it's kind of like giving your old tracks a new lease of life so that you can generate more streams and, you know, more income, hopefully. So that is it, guys. That is what I'm up to on this red hot summer's day here in the UK. Have a great evening. I'll see you in the next video.